Hello and welcome to the Motion Factory tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to use Motion Factory. First, we need to run the plugin. Go to the window, menu, select extensions, and click on Motion Factory. The first page that opens is the section for free items, which we won't be using right now. From this section, we can navigate to other sections. I prefer to go to the trending section. By hovering over the items, you can preview their animations. To find the item you need quickly, you can use filters. The filter section offers various options. Categories are specified in this section, and you can select the type of file you need. For example, I click on HUD and then press Save Filter. We can see all HUD files displayed. In this case, all types of files are available, not just After Effects files. To use the items, simply click on this section. Now let's test out other things. For example, I choose Title and press Save Filter. We can see all files with titles displayed. Using filters makes the process quick and easy. I want to use this item, which is also free. If you're looking for specific projects, you can search for them in this section. For example, Titoon allows me to access all items from this project easily and choose as needed. To import downloaded items into After Effects, click on the plus icon. If you encounter any issues, such as missing fonts for the title, click on this section to open the quick guide for the project and get a complete explanation. If you're looking for overlay files, there are plenty of projects available. By selecting them from the filter section, all downloaded files are accessible in the library. As you can see, all the downloaded files are here, and by clicking on this icon, I can import them into After Effects. I open the imported file, bring it into the main comp timeline, and let's see the animation. If you want to edit the colors, go to the main comp, click on Setting, enter the Effects Control window, where you can edit all the colors. From here, you can also adjust the existing lights, turn them on or off, and if you regret any edits made, like I did, you can click on Reset to revert everything back. All items are editable but are different from one another. For example, this title has various editing options. I can customize the text as needed by clicking on the desired layer and typing my text. By clicking on the setting layer, I can edit the colors. Let's move on to the Overleaf file. I click to import it into After Effects. Enter Comp 1, delete the HUD file, bring in the Overleaf file to the timeline, adjust the timeline duration to match the size of my comp. My comp size is HD and the file size is 4K, so I need to scale it down by pressing S. Additionally, this file is transparent. Thank you for watching.